In this clip, we will be showing you the proper monthly maintenance on the exhaust diverter valve. Using a 5 16 wrench, remove the two screws holding the valve box cover in place. With a pair of needle nose pliers, remove the bottom cotter pin. With a half inch wrench, remove the nut from the shaft end. Using a 5 16 Allen wrench, or a ratchet with a swivel joint in it. Remove the top three screws holding the valve box in place. Be careful when removing the screws not to lose the spacers behind the valve box. Leaving the vacuum hose attached to the actuator, the actuator attached to the valve box, remove the entire assembly from the valve body. Using the same 5 16 Allen wrench, remove the bottom three screws and remove the valve cover plate. Pull the flapper shaft out of the valve body. Using emery cloth, clean the rear bushing. This bushing is located in the valve body. When doing this, make sure to remove all dirt and debris. Using emery cloth, clean the front bushing. This bushing is located in the cover plate. When doing this, make sure to remove all dirt and debris. Using emery cloth, clean both sides of the flapper shaft. This area should be free of all dirt and debris. This area should be free of any dirt and debris. Before going into the lubrication process, it is very critical to reassemble the valve correctly. You will notice the cover plate has a locator pin. When seating the cover plate to the valve body, this locator pin should be at the top left hand side. Inserting the flapper into the valve body, make sure the flat surface is at the top, blocking off the exhaust pipe leading to the XT exchanger. When aligning the cover plate with the flapper, Make sure the locator pin seats into the flapper on the left hand side of the cutout. Before screwing down the cover plate, make sure the locator pin is at the top left hand side as seen here. All trucks built after January 2011 will have an added hole located on the cover plate. This hole has been added to help ensure the correct reassembly of the valve. For lubrication, we recommend using MK Implex Extreme Temperature Grease. This grease is rated up to 1472 degrees Fahrenheit. 
this product can be purchased from Aerotech Manufacturing. Using your index finger, get a small dab of grease and wipe it on the front and rear portion of the shaft. Before attaching the valve cover plate screws, we recommend using an anti-seize with a copper additive and rated for 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. This will make it easier to remove the screws on the next service. Take the valve cover and make sure when aligning it to the valve body, the locator pin is at the top left and seats into the flapper properly. Insert the three bottom screws and tighten them. Align the actuator and the valve box in position and connect the flapper arm to the flapper shaft with the nut. Align the three spacers between the valve box and the cover plate. Insert the three screws and tighten them up. Insert the cotter pin and get it fixed into position. Align the valve box cover, insert the two screws, and tighten them up. 